Hey guys, Derek here. Welcome back to the channel. We are back to watch another episode of 1899. This is episode 7, I believe. Uh, what happened last time, though? Last time, we found out who Daniel was. Um, he is Moira's husband, which is... That was one of the two things I was kind of flip-flopping on. I was like, are they related? Or are they dating slash married? And, I mean, well, I, technically, if they're married, they're related. But <laughs> um, we found out that that was the situation, and now I desperately need them to get back together. I don't know why, but he just seemed very genuine and very sad about his love for her, and she doesn't remember, so she needs to remember. Um, we also got some of Tove's backstory, and how her brother got the scar on his face, and who she killed, um, and spooky things were happening on the ship. Um, and then the right-hand boat captain went into the weird space cupboard and talked to Kyburn from Game of Thrones and now some sort of part of the plan is yet to be completed. There's like a transfer. Oh, and then the episode ended with um, uh, <laughs> older Jonas <laughs> from Dark, middle Jonas from Dark, um, Ike, the captain, ended up on like one of the ghost ships, but then there was like a hundred ghost ships. So I don't know what the flip that means. Um, I assume it has something to do with like the simulation, which I'm pretty sure it's a simulation or like a time loop or something. Uh, maybe this is where the boats go when like the loop restarts. If so, that seems like a horrible mismanag mismanagement of resources, right? Like the computing power must be through the roof <laughs> just trying to keep all these, all these stuff. You know, everyone knows in, in like video games, anything that you're not directly looking at doesn't exist. So the fact that they just like keep all those boats on hand, that's wild. <laughs> but uh, no, I'm excited to jump in this next episode. So before we do that, if you end up enjoying my reaction, please leave a like on the video. It means a ton to me. helps my channel grow. Uh, if you're new here or find yourself coming back often, hit subscribe. Ring the bell so you're notified when I upload. And then if you want to see the full uncut version of this reaction, um, consider supporting me on Patreon. That is linked in the description below. Sometimes on Patreon I post uh, reactions early as well. So if you're interested in that, consider supporting. Um, but other than that, let's jump into episode 7 of 1899. I thought I was watching Dark for a second. <laughs> I was like, damn, man. Opening boning scene? It's truly the same creators. <laughs> it's just Jonas and Marta in a new show. <laughs> I think that's so funny. I legit had to like check to make sure I was watching the right show. This is the sickest what? bedroom ever. Never forget. Never ever. Dude, I want to live in your house. <laughs> Please. Initiating shutdown. What? You're initiating a shutdown? The heck does that mean? That was the shirt she had on. Wake up. What? The flippity flop. The shutdown has started. We don't know much time before everyone will die again. Where is my device? Only he knows the future calculator. The shutdown has started, Mora. You're gonna have to free him eventually. Yeah, it's a that's a substantial looking storm. Okay, I think I've accepted that just everyone understands everyone. We need to find the captain. 
Captain's on the ghost ship. You're never gonna find him. That is messed up. How the heck? You gonna climb in there? Okay. So he's escaping via the walls. What is this? I never wouldn't touch it if I were you. Actually, I was hoping you could tell me what it is. It's probably like halfway up your arm by now, at least. We're all gonna die. You're not going to die. No one is going to die. Just think of it as a bad dream. No, you're all super gonna die. What? Oh, man, this dude knows where everything is. Does that tell him where every person on the ship is? Okay, he had an error though, and he's on a ghost ship. How did he end up on a ghost ship? She can interact with his simulation family. Kind of oh, it's gonna be like Inception. You're not supposed to be here. Geht es Ihnen gut? Kann ich Ihnen helfen? Haben Sie sich verlaufen? Geht es Ihnen gut? Kann ich Ihnen helfen? Haben Sie sich verlaufen? the only thing she knows how to say. That's so weird. You're in a desert? Is this Ramiro and Angel's backstory? That was a clean transition. I like that. Cruel. I'm bang for that they come to help you, Father. This water is too cold for you. It's freezing to you. You start to freeze. Yeah, it's cold water. Kraft. Oh, that's what we need to do. They had to close it. Have you here? See, she she's clearly a whore because she put pants on. <laughs> You still got that gun? Shoot your mom. She's the worst. Come on, pops. Cool. Brother. You're choosing her? Daniel's just jumping realities. <laughs> He's like, I don't care. How many different backstories I have to go through <laughs> until I find where I'm trying to go? Whose backstory is this one? It looks like a... Um... Olek? Maybe his backstory? Because didn't he have the picture of that? is like uh, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. He's just reality jumping. Do these guys have like no idea that the boat is gonna sink? Why does Oleg have to take the helm? Come on, then. We're gonna run out of people sh shoveling coal. 
Whose is this one? Oh, is this Daniel's room? That makes sense. This is probably the room right next door. And it's the weird pyramid palace? Remember who you are. Like Simba in The Lion King. The kid must be their son. Where is the boy? Is the boy buried under there? Or that's just another hole to go down. Okay. What the heck? It's a secret... Playroom, the boy! I'm so sorry. I tried to get you as fast as I could. Have you found the code? The, Kona no. the Konami code? Up, down, up, down, left, right. A, B, B, A, start. It's a uh, ring? Is that his wedding ring? Oh no! Now he knows where the boy is. Okay. Straight on to the waves. I'm sorry you had to find out this way. My eyelashes are stuck together. It's pissing me off. His name is Elliot. He's just boy. He's our son. Because you wanted to get rid of the pain. Did he die? Is the kid a fake boy? Do the little forehead nose touch. That'll wake her up. For sure. But are we gonna explain what happened to the boy? Surreal, you're not real. You're trapped in here, you are. This is a simulation. Come on, Moira. You have to wake up. Or there will be nothing left to wake up for. You have to wake up. Oh, uh, you're parallel to the waves. You don't want to be parallel to the waves. That's no bueno. Honestly, how can you even tell from inside? <laughs> They're shutting down the simulation. There's a code, an override. It's the only way out of here before everything restarts. You have to remember where it is. I don't understand. Why would I know where it is? Try to remember. You hid it, but you made yourself forget. Why? That thing. Yeah. You'll wake up this time. I promise. What does it un unlock, though? Don't, don't, uh, don't seize up into the fire. I don't think he's making it to the cabin car. This will buy us more time. This has happened before. Dozens of times. Every simulation runs Dozens. eight days. Eight days. Why only eight days? simulation trying to kill them now? Girl! You 
don't think that's spooky. Olek! You knucklehead. Is this the part where a portal in the sky opens? There was a poster and I think it was her that was standing in front of the glowy portal. Oh no. Yeah, Olek is gone. But it's a simulation, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I think that's the funniest part about this show is they'll say they'll just say hey to someone. Oh, he's dead. That sucks. But they'll say hey to someone, and it always says in Portuguese or in French, hey. <laughs> when it was, you know, really they just said hey. It's turning. Oof. Is one of them gonna be buried under rubble? Oh, damn, son. Angel! Angel, brother. Oh. Chief. I'm pretty sure they'll all be fine, right? So this, I guess this death scenes, these death scenes aren't hitting as hard as they should. Yes. If it's a simulation, none of this is real. No, 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 no. But I guess if they die, do they die in real life if they die in the simulation? At this point, you're not escaping no matter what. Like, <laughs> that water's rising quick. Oh, he's gonna close the door and allow you to get out. Random man who she has no emotional connection to. I mean, rip to all these people, but it's not real, right? Like, she ain't surviving in the storm. Oh, and my man's is already gone. It's human nature's ultimate flaw. Are you not human? One shouldn't base a choice. Are you are you a rogue part of the simulation? You've come far this time. Using the Prometheus to regain access was a smart move. Nevertheless, you fail. You have something that I want. You have something that I want. Never ever. Oh. Dang, son, so this this kid knew the whole time. <laughs> oh, this is the swirly portal. Yeah, into the archives we go. I guess that makes sense why all the ships look like battered and sunken and all that jazz, because they literally have all been through this already. Did 
just casually sails on up. Can they see each other from that distance? <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um, so things happened <laughs> in this episode. Lots of stuff happened. Uh, mainly everyone died is what happened. Well, not everyone, but like a, a couple of people died. But I didn't feel anything in the moment of their deaths because I was like, it's a simulation. They'll all just like wake up in the next go round. But then like they all got transported to the archive and like a bunch of them were still alive. So I don't, I don't know how I'm supposed to feel about those deaths now. Uh, we learned some more truths in this episode though. We learned that uh, the boy is named Elliot and he is Moira and Daniel's son. Um, I kind of speculated that a little bit last episode. You know, I, I wondered, you know, if they're married, then they both have a connection to this boy who is the boy. The boy is their son. We, we still have a ton of questions though, like Kyburn, her father, like what is his role in this simulation? Cause like, I don't know, some of the dialogue that he was saying made it seem like he wasn't a person, like he wasn't an, an actual person. Cause he's talking about like the failings of humanity, but he didn't like talk about it in a way that seemed to encompass himself as well. He was like, they constantly fail like they keep making the same mistakes the failure of humans and it's like are you not a human buddy like what's going on here <laughs> yeah i guess i'm still confused about like what the dad's role in this whole situation is because he he wanted the boy to get the pyramid but he doesn't have like the key to the pyramid he was just like it all stops now but like isn't that the goal <laughs> of our of our main trio of people of uh daniel moira and, and elliot is to stop stop the simulation or something right like the key is the is the override sh stops the shutdown and then just like allows the simulation to continue i'm curious of like why why the simulation exists my guess is that moira and daniel maybe created it or like played a played a key part in it because you know the whole scene where he's like you made yourself forget the pain you made yourself forget the the shutdown but like you know the shutdown code like there's a reason she knows the shutdown code and it's probably because she was involved in the creation right like they don't just give the shutdown code or the override code to anyone right and so their son I'm guessing died and she made herself forget the pain in this simulation. I don't know. Um, but the kid is alive. So maybe is the kid part of the simulation? Like was he, did they create the simulation to like recreate him so they could just like hang out with him and then something went wrong? via the the grandpa or the dad and now he's like a rogue part of the simulation trying to like stop them i don't know um that's very very curious curiouser and curiouser. curious um but yeah she mostly remembers i think and i really want them to be together again <laughs> like i just think they're they're like up to this point, I was kind of on board uh, her and Ike a little bit, you know, up until the last two episodes, and then now I'm like fully on board her and Daniel. And I want things to work out for them, but I know that since the show is canceled, <laughs> nothing will work out for them, because I've heard it ends on a cliffhanger. Um, and so I'm very, very curious. Um, but yeah, pretty much everyone in the ship is dying. Uh, you know, the boats, the boats crashing, not crashing, capsizing in this storm. 
um, Olek and Ling Yi are trying to steer the boat, but then the simulation is like, hey, it's your dead mom, come outside. <laughs> and then Olek, like a numbskull, follows her. He gets killed. Um, uh, Lucien has seizure. He dies. Uh, our homies, Angel, Angel uh, he gets crushed by some debris. Uh, the Danish parents drown. The second hand or third hand uh, boat guy drowns, um, Mrs. Wilson, I think, is still alive, but she's got, she's got the black hand of death, <laughs> um, so all these people are dying, while Daniel's, like, realm jumping, and the shutdown is happening, and we're just, it's, like, it's kind of like a race against time, in a sense, like, it seems to be coalescing, or converging into, like, a conclusion-ish, point um which makes sense given that there's only one episode left but um you know i think i think that's the last thing that i'm curious about and i and i like don't fully understand is what's the like what's the the dad's role in this like kyburn and then are we ever going to find out what happened to her brother <laughs> Because that was, like, the the guise of why she's here in the first place, is, like, trying to find her brother. You know, what happened to him? What's the what's the old man's role in this? And I guess who who sent all these envelopes? That's, like, the three... The three remaining plot holes that we don't have. Or, not plot holes, but plot lines that aren't uh, finished at this point. And I am excited to uh, to reach the end. I really do hope that this show gets picked up by, like, another network. I think Netflix still owns the rights to this, though. Um, and they decided that they don't want to make any more, which sucks. Um, I want them to, like, sell it to Amazon or Disney Plus or something. Um, like, I feel like someone needs to pick up the remaining two seasons of this because like i don't know if it's that expensive to make right unless they netflix is just like hurting for cash um you know i'm still upset that they canceled it i think it's a dope show um but yeah i don't know definitely let me know what you thought of the episode down in the comments below if you enjoyed my reaction please leave a like on the video it means a ton to me uh if you're new here hit subscribe or ring the bell so you're notified when i upload and then if you want to see the full uncut version of this reaction, consider supporting me on Patreon. That would mean the world. Uh, again, sometimes I post reactions early over there. So if you're interested in that, uh, definitely peep that down in the description. But other than that, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.